Well, the rooms, based on the shape and the size of the room and the dimensions, the the number of feet from there, again, like we talked about earlier with the acoustics, sound um, sound is waves and different waves are, some are long waves and some are short waves. And, uh, and if you measure the space between two walls and sound is bouncing back and forth between those two walls, what you'll find is certain frequencies will tend to fold back on themselves, bounce back on each other, and they'll overlap in such a way that they actually accent each other. They they overlap in phase, mm. and it puts a mode in the room where the room will will ring. That's where the feedback comes from. When those particular frequencies and a room will always feed back at at the same frequencies uh, or set of frequencies that are multiples of the lengths of the waves and all that. Mm. So, what you need to do is you need to um, uh, tune the room. And these, you know, guys, the, the fancy way to do it is to come in with a, with, a e, with a computer with software on it and you shoot tones into the room and the computer analyzes the tones and it'll actually change the EQ settings for you because you put white noise in there, which is all the frequencies happening at the same time. And it's listening. You put a microphone out there and it listens and it analyzes which frequencies are, are overreacting and it pulls those frequencies down. The poor man's way to do it is to um, put your mics on stage and start turning up the volume until it starts feeding back. You figure you find that first frequency and you figure out what frequency it is and you pull it back on your graphic equalizer. And as soon as you've dealt with that frequency, you turn it up a little bit more until you get the next frequency. Mm. And once you've dealt with a, you know three or four frequencies in the room, you've probably given yourself pretty good headroom now you can get the system pretty loud before it feeds back so that's the room tuning 